Hi everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another project share. So, oh my god, you guys, I am so proud of this project. <laughs> so, so earlier I showed you I had made a boom box out of an embellishment box. And basically what I did was I just covered an existing plastic um like a bead box and then I made it to look like a, a boom box and I it involved like having to punch holes in it and all that stuff but I was really happy with how it came out um and then I started thinking what else can I make um you know that's like an embellishment box but so you have to kind of think of things that are like rectangular in shape but I was like I bet you I can make other things too so this is my newest one that I came up with and I'm super excited to share it with you so this is actually going to be a gift for somebody um but what I did is the same thing I just covered here first so I used actually that paper to cut to cover both sides as you can see here and I did use the E6000 again um the spray to adhere it down and then I made another one and I cut a window um, just using my paper trimmer and I added some acetate and then I wanted to make it a shaker because I wanted it to be like a TV. Hopefully you think it looks like a TV. But I, as you can see, I added in a little bit too much stuff so it doesn't shake too much, but I think it's okay. Um, and then to mimic like a TV, I made the dial. This is again the word window punch. This is just stacked circles. And then I used the word window punch again to make the little vents. And then this, um, I think all the die cuts are from the Odds and Ends or Chit Chat from the Fairy Garden collection, which is my current favorite collection. And this one I just added in. Wherever you see glitter, I added that in myself using stickles. Um, and then I actually got my white gel pen and I made my own highlights on the actual die cuts. And I think it came out really cute that way. Um, and then I added some Nouveau Drops to make the mushrooms have spots because it didn't have... And then I just punched out some flowers just to add a little bit of something. So I think it came out so cute, you guys. Okay, and then the best part is when I made the antenna. So this is the part that took me the longest. And I, like, I had to sit there a little bit to think about what I wanted to do. And I really wanted it to have an antenna. And I knew if I added just like paper, it would have probably bent or have fallen off or whatever. And I hopefully it will make it to the person in okay, you know, condition. So... I had to really think about what I was going to do and this is what I came up with. So I got um, foam tape and I kind of measured where I was going to put the wire and um, I left enough space so that it was a snug fit and then I stacked the foam tape. I think it's like three or four pieces high um, just enough to hold it in place. And then I filled it with hot glue and then I stuck it in. But before that, um, I had to figure out what I was going to use as my wire. So I needed something that was a little bit sturdier um, that wouldn't really bend. And I wanted to put like balls on the end of it. So I was either going to use the styrofoam balls um, from, you know, those Dollar Tree. Um, I think they're table scatter. Uh, that or I was going to use beads and so I, I decided to use beads and all I did was um, use some E6000 on the ends. I think I had to use hot glue on this one because it kept falling but on the wire my wire wasn't white it was actually gold um, but I didn't want it gold. I didn't think it matched this whole thing because especially since I had holographic here so because I wanted to change it I had to find something that was thick durable and a different color so I actually cut so this is actually these paper clips that I have that I haven't used yet so I I took one out and I kind of unbent it and I thought hey that can kind of work so this is kind of like the other half of it and I just kind of formed it how I wanted it and then I added on the balls I was like I bet you that would work so before I added the balls I um I mean the beads I spray painted it um, white because I had leftover white and I did both sides and I waited for it to dry and I think it's okay you guys I think it came out super cute <laughs> okay so then I um I covered it with a strip so I I put the strip on the bottom of the foam tape and then I wrapped it around here so that it would be easier for me to adhere it to the plastic so um, and it would be covered so um, I used E6000 to adhere it down um, and I used hot glue because that's kind of the trick I use um, if I want it to set a little bit faster and then I sat there and I held it in place for a while until I felt like it was um, sturdy enough but I like how it came out I think it came out really cute 
And the cute thing about it is that, like, when you open it, um, I guess I'll just open it. You can see the other paper on the other side. So I was like, oh my god, I hope I didn't put it in upside down. <laughs> But anyway, so this is going to go out to somebody, but I just wanted to share with you, look how fun it is to make, like, to alter these embellishment boxes to make it look like something else. So, like, I'm super proud that I was able to think of something different besides the boom box. And I have a couple other ideas. I haven't worked on them yet. I just want to share this with you. Um, and I hope the recipient likes it. But anyway, I just thought that it was such a cute idea. And hopefully you'll give it a try too. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.